Today's room tour video is sponsored by Lull. So Lull is a premium memory foam mattress that ships right to your door. This mattress is absolutely amazing. Setup is super, super easy, guys, and convenient. As you can see in the clips here, I was able to do it all by myself. You simply unbox the mattress, you unroll it onto your floor, box spring, bed frame, whatever you have. You take off the plastic wrapping and then you just watch the magic happen. The mattress just magically expands and you want to give it about 24 hours to expand before you sleep on it. But once I did sleep on it, let me tell you, this mattress was absolutely amazing. I had my previous mattress for about five years and I thought it was pretty good but after sleeping on the low mattress it was clear that my old mattress was not as good as I thought it was. I was able to get some of the best sleep I've had like in a long long time you guys. I did not realize how much I would toss and turn at night until I got a full night's sleep on my low mattress without even moving. Like the first few nights I was able to sleep Sleep in the same position all night long which I, I can't really remember the last time if I have ever slept like that. The low mattress does have three layers of memory foam so it gives you that amazing comfort but it also gives you support at the same time. Definitely more support than my last mattress which I didn't know that I needed but lord knows I needed that extra support. I haven't had as many back problems. I used to get out of bed and just like crack my back and I can't even crack my back anymore when I get out of bed which is amazing. I'm loving it so much. The lull sleeps a lot cooler than my last mattress as well because it does have a gel infused top layer that provides like cooling comfort and it provides airflow and it pulls the heat away from your body and I hate sweating at night when I sleep so that has been a godsend for me as well. You guys have to check out this mattress. If you're in the market for a new mattress, even if you're not, <laughs> you need this mattress and I highly recommend you guys go check it out. You cannot go wrong. They do offer a risk-free 100 night trial. They offer free shipping, free returns, and I have $150 off promo for you guys so definitely check out the description box down below i guarantee you will not be disappointed so i want to give a big thank you to lo for sending me this amazing mattress that even my cat nala loves <laughs> but without further ado let's go ahead and get into the room tour hi guys so welcome to my room tour my master bedroom tour so first, we're gonna start off over here. This is the highlight, the new highlight of my room, and this is my low mattress, which I absolutely have been loving. It's super, super soft, super comfortable. Um, I don't have any bedding on it right now. I just wanted to kind of let you guys take it all in and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful mattress. So we're actually gonna start off over here. So this dresser over here is from Z Gallery. And a lot of things you'll see as we go are from Z Gallery. I love Z Gallery. So yeah, this mirror dresser is from Z Gallery. Um, this little globe is also from Z Gallery. This painting is not from Z Gallery. I actually made this myself, but it is kind of Z Gallery inspired. Their paintings are very expensive. For the one that was similar to this, I think it was like six, 600 or something. So I just DIY'd my own painting and I do really love how it turned out. This little plant here is also from Z Gallery. My cat likes to attack it for some reason. So we had it in the kitchen and then uh, I brought it in here just so I can monitor the plant a little bit more closely. And if you hear some noise in the background, my cat's using the litter box, so. Coming on over here, this big, huge, beautiful mirror. I love this mirror. Um, this mirror is from Z Gallery as well, and I really, really love it. I like to come in front of this mirror, like when I get dressed, um, so I can see my whole outfit. So yeah, I love this mirror. Um, the, the curtain rod up here is actually a double curtain rod and it is from Wayfair. Um, I'll try to link everything down below in the description for you that I can so just check that down there for links. 
Um, but this is from Wayfair. I'm thinking about changing it out because I do have one in my office from West Elm and it's a lot more like heavy duty and thicker and it just looks nicer and I think it would be a little bit better in here. These curtains, these gray um, curtains, they kind of have a texture and pattern to them which I really like. You have to kind of get up close to see it but I do like that. It is a little like more subtle and it has a little bit of sheen and shimmer to them as well. So these are from Z Gallery. And then these shears, I just have these added for just a little bit more privacy. Um, so that way I can keep my windows open yet no one can really see in during the day. So, and I think it kind of adds to the, to the look. It gives it like a softer look as well. So these shears I got from Amazon, I believe. So these mirror dressers, I actually have two of them, one on each side of my bed, they're both um, they match with the dresser over there, Z Gallery of course, and then um, the lamp is also, or lamps are also from Z Gallery. These I believe are discontinued though. These mirrors that I have above each of my nightstand are also, well actually, they used to be carried by Z Gallery, but Z Gallery does not carry them anymore. I actually had to go to a different website once I found that they were discontinued. But I was able to find them, so I'll try to find that again and link that for you guys. My bed over here is also from Z Gallery. This is the Roberto bed. I've had this for a few years now and I really love it. Um, this is in the dove gray color. You can get it in so many different colors. And the funny thing about this bed is actually I got it in a different color. I initially ordered it in white. And there was some issue with it when they delivered it to me and I actually was able to change it because they had to remake the bed. And I'm so, so glad that I had it um, changed to gray because white, I don't think would have made it this long just because white gets so dirty so fast. Um, so, but yeah, I really love the gray. And actually, I almost forgot about my rug down here. This rug is also from Z Gallery. I initially had this in my living room, but I decided to move it in here just because I don't really like shag rugs in the living room because this rug was getting really dirty in there so I decided to move it over in here and I think it really adds to the um, overall appeal I guess you would say. So over on this side of the bed I pretty much have the same thing as the other side so I have the same dresser, lamp, and mirror and I wanted to show you guys something really cool about the bulbs that I have in these lamps. So the bulbs that, bulbs that I'm using are the Philips Hue bulbs and they actually are connected to my Alexa and they turn on and off with Alexa voice commands and you can also use an app on your phone. Um, but they also change color which I think is a, the coolest part about it. So I'll show you guys right now. Alexa, turn the master lights on. Alexa, turn the master lights blue. Alexa, turn the master lights red. Alexa, turn the master lights green. Yeah, so she can pretty much turn, or the lights can pretty much turn uh, whatever color you want. So if I say teal, magenta, like pretty much any color they can turn to. There's like thousands of colors. So I thought that was a really cool addition. Um, Alexa, turn the master lights white. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, this beautiful feature wall, accent wall behind me, I actually did this myself. This was a DIY project. This project took, took super, super long to do. It took me about 16 hours, so I spent um, two days in a row, about eight hours each day working on this, and I used um, just one stencil, one small stencil to do this whole entire wall. So it was definitely time consuming, but I think it was definitely worth it. I think it bumped this whole room up to like another level. Um, I feel like I should have done a video on it, so sorry about that. But I was just trying to like really get it done and not worry about having to film it and angles and all that stuff. But um, it's pretty... It's not that easy actually. <laughs> I was gonna say it's pretty easy. It's not that hard. Basically, this wall is just like a darker gray, and then I use a silverish um, paint color for the stencil. So it's mostly just time consuming, and you gotta make sure you line everything up and stuff like that. So, so over here on the nightstand, I added this cute little plant. Um, this plant is from TJ Maxx, and then this candle here, I think, is either TJ Maxx or um, Marshalls, either one of the two. This is a stress relief candle, and this is actually a soy candle. I moved 
I used to really be into um, Bath and Body Works candles, but the wax in them is actually not really that good for you. So I changed over recently to all soy candles and I really, really love candles. So um, this is a new one that I'm trying out. And I almost forgot to mention my fan up here. So this is actually a fan, but it does look like a light fixture. When you turn it on, it has these clear blades that come out and it becomes a fan. So I thought this was really nice because Fans don't really, I don't think they look that glamorous, but this kind of just hides it away and makes it look like a, you know, nice light, light fixture. And then when you want to use it, the blades come out. I do have another one in my office, which is a little bit more glam. It kind of looks like a chandelier, which I'll show you guys a little clip of that. I'm thinking about changing that into this room. I don't know if it would go, would it be too much? You guys kind of let me know what your opinion is on that. All right, so now I'm gonna take you guys into the master bathroom. The master bathroom is pretty bright during the mornings, but in the later in the afternoons, the sun goes on the other side and it gets pretty dark. So I'm gonna cut this light on. I know the light's pretty yellow. I need to change those out. But for right now, it'll do and I'll try to like fix it in the editing. So anyway, yeah, in the master bathroom, I have um, double vanity, double sinks here. And then I have these little baskets on either side. Over in this one, I have a little plant. Um, I'm not sure where I got that either TJ Maxx or Marshalls and then I have this little candle from sand and fog This is apple cinnamon and herbs poison apple it Smells really good. Uh, oh, actually it's from TJ Maxx um, And then these the little baskets here that I have on either side. I believe those are from TJ Maxx TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I'm not sure which one in the middle here. I have this little glass mirrored um, What are these called? Like the vanity tray, I think. So I got this from eBay like several years ago, like I think like five years ago. I actually have two of them, but uh, yeah, eBay. And then these little apothecary jars, I actually have three of them. It came in a set of three from Amazon. And this one I have Q-tips and this one I have uh, like floss, flossers. And this is a decanter, which is glass and it's really, really heavy. Um, normally this is used for like spirits, like alcohol, um, but I put mouthwash in there because I think that's a prettier way to have it out. And then over in this little basket, I just have some rolled up white towels. These aren't the towels that I use, it's just for decoration pretty much. So then over to the left of the sinks, I have this window which i'm super super happy that i added this in this was an option when i built this house and i feel that it adds a lot of light i, I don't really like dark bathrooms i like when bathrooms have a lot of light in them so it was definitely worth it i think i pretty much added like every window that i could add when i built this house because windows are i just love windows and i love natural light so i added this window in and then it has this privacy glass on it which is kind of like textured and frosted um, so that's why there's no like window treatments or anything on it. Um, I'm thinking about thinking about adding like maybe a box balance or something just to give like some sort of something to the window. It's just like a plain window with no treatments. Maybe some like shades or something. I don't know. And then on the windowsill here, I have these three little faux succulents. And then over here, I have my shower. It's kind of basic. Not much to it. Um, I did add in these little tiles around just to give it some, you know, a little bit of detail to it. Um, and then it has these little openings here where you can put like your shampoo, conditioner, your products, which I really like. I feel like I needed two of those uh, because usually it's not enough for all my products that I like to keep in the shower, but I just switch things out as I need them. And then my shower head, this is a new shower head that I'm using. It's actually from Conair. So this top attachment here is actually like a brush and it helps you to detangle your hair um, in the shower with like the water and I'm so far I'm liking it so that's my shower um, they did have an option in this house to have a shower and a tub but I opted to just have a shower because if you had both of them the shower would have been like half the size it would have been really really small and I never take sit down baths so I always take showers so I actually prefer to have a bigger shower than a smaller shower in a tub so so for this part I decided to get behind the camera because I'm going to show you where my toilet is and it's a small space so it's harder for me to get in there and show you guys so if you come over here is where my toilet is so in there I just have this little plant over the toilet 
and then I have this little cabinet which keeps like my toilet paper and um, feminine products and wipes and stuff like that and then I have just a trash can and then Nala's litter box over on that side so that's all that's in here and it does have a door so you can close it and have some privacy and then coming back over here I have my linen closet which I keep you know my linens and my towels it's actually a pretty big size it's like really deep in there I'm not gonna go in there because it's not like all the way together and I have a lot of my hair products in there as well and if you come over on this side I have my hair product wall um, so this is not all my hair products. This is about maybe half, maybe a little less than half of my products. Um, the extras I keep in there. I'm gonna blur this part out because I wanna do a video on my hair product collection. So I don't wanna show you guys all my hair products, but I'm just gonna blur, kind of blur it out a little bit. Um, but I am gonna be working on expanding this wall just so I can put all my products on there. So I'm probably gonna take it up and down a little bit so I can have a, just a full wall of my hair products. And then in this door over here is my closet. Um, I'm not gonna go in there and do like an in-depth closet tour or anything like that because I have a full video showing you guys my closet in depth. I actually did a uh, custom closet makeover so uh, if you wanna see like more detail on my closet, I'll have that video linked down below for you guys in the description. So that completes my room tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Lull if you want a really, really comfortable, luxurious mattress delivered right to your door. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little nap and enjoy my new mattress. Um, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video.